One of the main topics in GrandMA 3 version 1.7 is the improved preset workflow. First of all, what we did is we implemented MA tricks directly into presets. So that's a functionality you know from the versions before, but now you can store MA tricks directly into preset and they will be referenced in a queue as well. So let's take one example. So we have our spots and we bring them to full and we put a nice red color on it. Now we can use the MA tricks overlay and in the MA tricks overlay we set a delay from 0 through 1 for example and we have a wings of 2. Then we store a new color preset and you can see with the new indicator here with this grid symbol that the MA tricks are directly stored within that preset now. So we clear our programmer we have a look at the spots again, bring them to full, and we call that preset. And you can see you have the delay from zero through one with the wings of two. So the MA tricks are directly stored into the preset. Now that we call the preset, you can see that the MA tricks overlay shows us the preset we are actually working with. So that means you can open the MA tricks and edit those things in a live way. So the MA tricks they get the live editor for your presets now. And the great thing is that the MA tricks are referenced in a queue as well. So what we do, we store this on an executor. We clear our programmer again, and you can see the executor is running. We have our wings of two with the delay of zero through one for the color. Now we take the spots grid again. We choose the preset and we use our MA tricks overlay to change some things. So maybe we don't want to have these wings. We want to have no wings and we set a fade time of 0 0.5 seconds. In this case, we can just update the preset. So we change the color preset here and you will see as soon as we run the sequence. So first of all, we hit an off there and then we run the sequence again it will be updated and it's just a delay from the left to the right without the wings and with the fade time of 0 0.5 seconds so again the ma tricks are directly part of the preset and they are updated in the queue as well because they are referenced where does it help us as well of course in our phaser section so if we take care of the phases so we bring the sequence off and we select our spots grid again and we take a predefined phaser like this snap on dimmer phaser. We can take the MA tricks again as a kind of live editor for our presets. So for our running phaser as well. That means we can give a phase value 360 degrees for example and again a wings of two and we store it as a new preset. So that means we store it as a dimmer preset, for example. And in this case, you can see once the MA tricks are included again. So you see this grid symbol for the MA tricks and you created a universal dimmer preset. That means you have a template object for different fixture selections now. That means at the end, we could clear the programmer. Let's take all auras, for example, and they should run this dimmer effect and you can see this dimmer phaser runs on the auras, including the MA tricks of the phase 0 through 360 and the wings of 2 as well. So you easily created some template objects using a universal preset with the MA tricks included. So that's the new way of creating presets in combination with MA tricks. It's easier, it's faster than before, and you can use the universal presets together with the MA tricks as a kind of template objects for all your different fixture selections.